Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. But we 
for he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Peter, James, and John, we all decide, and 
Lord is preparing, literally, right before his arrest, in prayer for his passion. And, and he does get a little fortuitous with Peter, James, and John, because they keep falling asleep. Uh, now, admittedly, they had just celebrated the Passover meal, and they went back to the mountain that they were planning on sleeping on. So it's a little understandable that they did. But he asks for them to stay with him, just to be with him. He doesn't need their words. He doesn't need their actions. He just needs that consolation of that presence of love. And so we have that, that beautiful example of how are we to minister to Christ? How are we to minister to God? The second Eucharistic prayer speaks about right, standing in the presence of God to minister to Him. And how are we to exhibit that charity towards God? It's that consolation of the heart of Christ. It's the basis of, of the church's devotions, things like the sacred heart, the sacred face, the way of the cross when we do it, is to be with Christ. Not, not that we're able to do anything in that moment, but to be with Him, to stand at that cross with Him in love. And so that, that third instance, then, that one in the middle, the one that we hear about today on Mount Tabor, is very much Christ teaching us how to minister to ourselves. Right? So they, they get to the top, they, they pick this place where they're going to be with Christ. And what happens? They're listening, they're practicing that presence of God. They're looking at it, at what's going on, taking it in and responding really accordingly. Right? Jesus doesn't rebuke Peter here. This is not where we hear, get behind me, Satan. Right? This is, this is Peter saying, it's good to be here. It's good to be in the presence of God and the glory of God. And if you wish, if you wish, there's that readiness to serve, to build those tents. Now, it doesn't happen here. But that's really it. It's, it's that within my own heart, within my own soul, within my own mind, what's the Father's command? Listen to the Son. And what does Jesus say? Rise and do not be afraid. Right? So keeping that presence of God before us, listening to the Father, listening to the Son, leads us to that place of fearlessness and boldness of that zeal for Christ and His Gospel. So that way we have this sort of roadmap of service, that service to others that we're called to go out to those places that seem perhaps the most hopeless, that ministry of Christ being with him in love. But in ourselves is, is the greatest ministry we can do for ourselves is practicing that presence of God in our lives, is allowing ourselves to, to be before him in, in glory, and that if he wishes, even now, even among history itself, if he wishes, build those tabernacles for the presence of the Lord. Knowing that his words lead to eternal life, we turn to our Heavenly Father in prayer. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our God and lead us to further unity and healing. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord for those with temporal authority, may the Father help them to grow in the virtue of charity, particularly for the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are sick, may the healing consolation of Christ touch them. Comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, particularly those souls in purgatory in the most need of our prayers, that they may enjoy eternal life and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. And at this Mass, we pray in a particular way for Edward Hogan, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty,
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings may here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor, that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wondrously shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. Before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Most honor in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Most honor. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you.